Hi, I'm Joe Zablina. I'm the director of the North Carolina Cooperative Extension Service. I'd like to spend a few minutes talking to you about our initiative on visioning and planning for the future of Extension. You know, Extension is getting ready to celebrate its 100th anniversary in May of next year. And behind that 100 years has been a great amount of success across North Carolina and the U.S. Uh, in impacting communities, families, and individuals. And that's because of the people that we have. Our people live in the communities. They're part of the same churches you go to. Uh, they participate in the same schools with their children as you do. So they see the needs and they see the challenges that you face across the state because their families are facing the same. The advantage they have always had since the inception of Extension is they can bring the research base from the university system to your community. And that's how we empower people with knowledge and provide solutions so that they can change their lives. At this time, as we're celebrating our 100th anniversary, we're also challenged. If you look at the nation, the economy of the nation has been in desperate times for a few years. It's affected the state, it's affected counties, and it has affected Extension as well. Since 2000, we've had a $20 million recurring budget cut. And this has impacted our campus specialist positions and as well as our county positions. And those of you across the state probably see it more in the county positions. We've lost over 90 positions in the last two bienniums. So what this has caused in the places where we do have gaps is client dissatisfaction, challenges with our partnerships with county governments who still have funds available, and the inability to make the impacts that the communities and our people need. What we're going to be doing over the next few months is looking at what the future should be. How do we align our existing resources to the true finances of today? So we're at a point we either be changed by external forces or we take control of that and build a new future together. So we are developing listening sessions around the state we're doing with our employees first, and then we'll have, I think, 12 sessions around the state that'll be advertised shortly. And we want your ideas on how we could create the extension service of the future within the resources available, and that's the challenge. Now, our timeline for this, uh, we actually began in January as an administrative team. We hired a consultant to look at all the data to ensure that we're not moving forward too uh, fast for the times that we had the data that validated that we really need to uh, look at a new way to do business and we have done that and it is validated we cannot continue on the pathway we are so with the consultant we have pulled together a team of our employees from around the state peers at different positions we also have several external people to start looking at what's going on and what possibilities there will be we will feed off the listening sessions. They will look at that data. Uh, we have also interviewed 10 different states that have gone through similar challenges over the last 10 years, all of which are starting to see recovery. So we're hoping that this is just a period of time that requires regrouping like many other organizations and businesses have done, but it is the way to create the future that we feel is needed for this state and for an organization that has 100 years of excellence and looking forward to the next hundred years. I'd like to read you the four compelling reasons or goals with the listening sessions. The first is to focus our program visibility on the most needed programs that we can have impacts on in the state of North Carolina. The second is to prove our impacts and our value to our counties and our state. The third is to create a financial buffer for at least five years. Uh, to fend off any changes that might incur because of future state or federal budget cuts. And the last, as I mentioned a little before, is to develop a staffing model that aligns our new fiscal reality and provides competitive salaries and a better quality of life for our employees. One of the other goals is to keep this whole process transparent for you, whether you're a client, whether you're a partner, or whether you're an employee. We're developing a website that will have all the links to it that will provide where this video will reside, uh, members of our visioning team, results of each listening session, and an opportunity for you if you cannot attend any of these sessions to comment on ideas or what you're seeing on the site. I firmly believe that extension is needed now more than it ever was. I also firmly believe if we don't change, our next hundred years will not reflect the same excellence and impacts 
that the previous hundred have. I believe in this organization. I believe in what Extension does and its people. I truly believe that we can come together and create the future for cooperative extension and meet the needs of our clients across the state, meet the partners that we need to create this for the next hundred years. Again, we look forward to your involvement in this. This is a journey, as I mentioned before, that we need to make together. Thank you very much.